Hello and welcome back to my channel. Now I'm going to be doing... Oh, the phone's ringing. Right, hello and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be showing you some super cool kind of commands um, and trolling things which you can do um, on a Mac. So um, they're not really... It's, it's not destructive or anything, so you could just play around with it on your own Mac or if you can get your friend's password and do it on their Mac. But yeah, so I'm going to be showing you how to do some cool things like making pop-ups making it read out text, making notifications appear, opening and closing apps, opening websites, and making it sleep. So anyway, all of this will be done with terminal, or to do it remotely, you could SSH into it, which is probably what you would do if you don't really want them to know what's going on, because it'd be pretty obvious if you were just typing away on their computer. Um, but firstly, so making pop-ups. Now, most of these things will be done with this thing called OSA script, and I believe it's part of Apple Script Editor. Um, so, yes, uh, this is going to be the first one. It, so, you do OSA script dash E whenever you're doing OSA script. I think it's because, I think it stands for execute or something. So, you would uh, do that, and then you would do, for for instance, pop-ups, it would be display alert, lol. So, I'll just type it out. So, OSA script dash e and then an apostrophe and then you want to do display alert then a space and then you want to do um, speech marks and then I'm just going to do hi then close the speech marks and close the whole script so then in oh I spelt it wrong well done so anyway here it is so as you can see it will come up with something which says hi and you can see it just it just says okay well if we want to add buttons that will be quite cool so to add buttons you um you add in that you close the lol or whatever the message is but instead of closing the whole script with a with a um apostrophe you would do buttons and then you do those uh, squiggly brackets and then whatever ones you want to do now if it's only one uh, you just remove the comma and that stuff so you need to separate you need to have them in squiggly brackets each of them need to be in speech marks you need to do comma space and then the next one the maximum is three and I can't really be bothered to type that out so I'm just going to copy it and so you can see what it looks like so it says lol troll ha you can see them right so i haven't you might be able to hear it faintly but i haven't got like an audio capture driver so you probably won't be able to hear it but anyway so you just literally type in say and so yeah say and then anything you want to say speech mark I, I think you can do um apostrophe and speech marks so if i do uh welcome to the video yeah, you probably could hear that, but if not, I'll just, like, it, it works, trust me. <laughs> okay, and the next one is the same as display alert. The syntax is exactly the same, except you replace um, alert with notification. So, okay, script editor, lol. So, it's um this is the thing which it would be done. So, if I just do a new document, it would be anything like this. So, this is, this is what it's... Uh, this is like basically like uh, the batch file runner, I guess, um, but for WinMac. But yeah, so that's what's making all of those pop-ups appear and stuff. Right, so next we have opening and closing apps. So I'm going to do Safari, actually. It's open, so I'll just quit it completely. So I think it means open, but it doesn't necessarily like... So it opens it, so there'll be a dot um, beneath it, but it won't necessarily show it that it's open anyway so it's osa script dash e apostrophe open app um speech marks and it has to be capital so and i think it has to be like the actual name so if i was just going to do like settings it wouldn't be i couldn't just do settings it'd have to be system preferences with capitals so i will do the same um i'll just do safari and it's the same with open and close, but you do quit instead of close. Um, you just swap, swap open with quit. So I will do that, and you can see it. it you could see it bounce there, um, it, but it doesn't necessarily bring it to the front. So as you can see, it's still got its open sign there. Actually, I'll do a better example. So if I 
do this and then I can just do the quit app safari it will now quit right and the last no not last one the next one is you can open a URL so it's, this doesn't require any OSA script it's just open HTTP colon slash slash make sure you do HTTP colon slash slash otherwise it will try and open other stuff and do the website and then it will open the website and um, you, no, you don't have to do www dot um, unless your website requires that. But um, yeah, and now we come on to the last one, which is sleeping the Mac. Now I can't really do this. I, can I do it? No, I'm not going to try it. But that will sleep it. And I'll leave all of these in the description. I'll literally just copy this and put it in the description so you can try it out for yourself. Um, but yeah, that is the tutorial. And hopefully you can have a nice play around with them, maybe prank your friends a bit. And yeah, it won't work on Windows, trust me. Um, but yeah, that's the tutorial. Please like and subscribe for more. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!